their parents in okay that they were parents in their health al qadi abu yala attributed this view to ahmed but sheikh al islam ibn taymiyyah pointed out that this was a grave error so it's one of the scholars in islam said this but ibn taymiyyah who we know okay. is senior okay. scholar he said this is wrong okay so, so in they, they summary be, what yeah. what are you yeah. in summary what, what, yes. in summary from what we know in, okay. i'm sure many hadiths okay. is that a child who yes. has reached the age of puberty a mentally ill person is that we believe that they will be tested on the day of judgment god's going to test them okay. because they will not yeah, and they, they didn't have the choice because they were a child or they were not insane they were okay. they were insane so that's the reason why sometimes we say okay the pen is lifted from this person why because okay. he's acting a bit crazy yeah okay. He will be tested on the day of judgment. Okay. God will order <coughs> them to jump in the fire. Okay. And the fire will be paradise. And God will tell one to enter paradise, but the paradise will be hellfire. Okay. So this is a test that God's going to give them. Yeah? Okay. So in a nutshell, I'm very, very sure. I'll go and double check that. What you quote, I'll check if that's authentic as well. I'm very sure because again, like I said before, how is Allah the most merciful, the very merciful okay. if he's going to throw children in fire? Yeah? So I'm sure that's not the case. Well, well even from what you said. Ali, finish this point of Adhra. Okay, if it, yeah, 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 I know, I know, okay. it's been, it's been, it's been, yeah, we've gone off t topic from <laughs> the Trinity, yeah, so yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. discuss this one next week, but let's go back to the, the, the so, Trinity. So, so, so the Trinity, so, so, come, come, a, yeah, so come back to the Trinity, is that one of the problems I had with the Trinity is that a child, I don't need to go to a child and start telling him about, because he's on what I'm on, he believes there's, God, do you get what I'm trying to say? Okay. The other issue with the Trinity is that a lot of pe people have a problem with, is what I have a problem with as well, is that, like I said to you before, yeah, you're getting this notion because, Look, Noah, 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 yeah? Mm. Did Noah treat, uh, teach Trinity? He would have. He didn't teach it, he didn't teach anything. Okay, did he, did he believe in the Trinity? Yes. He believes in Trinity? Yes. Where's your evidence? I'll give you evidence from Abraham. Okay. Because we have evidence in the Bible okay. about Abraham. You need to first so, show me the... So basically, just to kind of uh, speed it up. So basically, all I have to show, because I said to you, we'll show the Trinity from the, from the scripture, right? So, but is the scripture the word of God? Before I take anything, yeah, but from we're anywhere, going we're going off now because we'll, we'll, this, we'll, we'll, this, this, this conversation will go this, this, on. For, no, no, but this, this this connects this connects yeah, yeah? because look, the thing is, if, okay. look, look, anything that I, you, I give you the Quran, yes. it's the same the principles with the Quran, yeah. Is this, it? We this need is from the Torah, yes. No, no, no. This we need to establish okay. that the Quran is the word of God and okay. the Bible is the word of God in order for us to go to text. Because okay. otherwise, well, me well, quoting to you, well, well, me quoting to you, this it's it's, it's nothing. Yeah, but, believe in it. but the thing is, we can discuss the authenticity no, no, that's, another that's, time. No, but, no, but I'm I'm showing you from the scripture that I'm reading. Okay, whether but, you don't have to agree okay, with it, okay, it's, well. it's it's legitimate or not okay. because. We could have done that before, okay, but well. because we talked about babies and whatever, okay, we're going well. to go on for too long. So let's just say, can a Christian prove from the scripture that there is a personhood in the scripture that we and the Christians believe? So, we believe the name, the divine name of God is Yahweh. And if I go to uh, Genesis 18, you have the Bible up, or uh, I can show I've, you from my phone. I've, I've got an app, it doesn't work. Okay. So if I go to Genesis 18, yeah. 1, it says, and the Lord, so when it's in capitals, yeah. this is using the divine name. Okay. So it says, and the Lord appeared unto Mo, um, Abraham in yeah. the plains of Memra, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. So, and it says, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him yeah. when he saw them. So basically, this is the story of Abraham okay. just before uh, the um, destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Three, three men or three angels appeared to Abraham. Okay. And one of them was God, yeah. right? So then, I mean, so then what happens is uh, the, uh, the story continues. They kind, of, they kind of eat with Abraham, okay. and two of the angels go to to, to get Lot to rescue him because they're going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So that's I think you have a similar story. The yeah. two angels went, yeah. and then people were trying to beat down his door or yeah. whatever. So basically, what, what what we see happening is if we go to Genesis 19:24, this is just before the destruction of. Um, Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> so two angels have gone to Sodom and Gomorrah, yes. and the third person is still around. Yes. Right. Then it says, and th then the Lord rained down Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Yes. Now, if uh, God was a unitarian, yes. a singular, yeah. this wouldn't make sense because it's showing God is in two places. Okay. And I'll show you another verse just to confirm okay. it. This is why Christians understand okay. that there's a... Uh, okay, finish. And we, we want to know who understood this verse like that yeah, as well. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? So if I go to, where is it, Amos? Because you could say, I don't know, someone could say, well, maybe they just a scribal error well, no, or no, something No, no, like no, we that. need to know who understood yeah. it like that. So it says, 
Amos 4, it's talking about the same situation. It says, I, because God is speaking, it says, I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of burning, yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. So that's the divine name when it's in capitals. But it's referring to God overthrowing Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Now it would seem very strange yeah. that God is speaking and saying there was another okay. that overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. But when we go into uh, um, Genesis, the, the verse I showed you yes. before, yeah. it's still showing you there, there was a distinction okay. in two Yahwehs. Okay. So this is where we see the concept of uh, a distinction in the nature of God. Okay, the, that's that's, yes. that's 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 debatable. Yeah. Because right now, okay, but what I was asking you is very simple. The yeah? earliest classical sources. Yeah, it is. But first, we need to which scholars understood it the way you understand it. Yes. Number two, did where where is your evidence that all these prophets that came, yes, that support our narrative of worshiping God and God alone. Okay. Where did they preach the Trinity? They didn't need to. Okay. I'll what, tell you why. Okay. Are you, okay. Are you first acknowledging that they didn't, and you're going to tell me why they didn't? Yes. Okay. So, okay. So, before the incarnation. Yeah. As we go by, um, yeah. that even the Shema Israel, Hear O Israel, your Lord God is one. Yes. Obviously, in the Hebrew, it's not got that your is like the mm -hmm. I don't know what you call it, like the is is one. Yeah, so yeah. it's just more of the the yeah. I don't know what you call don't it. Don't but it, it's basically it reads as uh, O Israel, yeah. Yahweh Elihanu, Yahweh one. That's what it says. So okay. it basically says Yahweh, our gods, Yahweh one. So it can be taken as uh, your uh, that or you can read into it. Well, because we don't have the yeah. The, the Cause, cause, cause it is, it is because when written in English, you don't have like the your Lord. Of course, of course. It, so, but, 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 so, yes. Yeah. So, so it can also be interpreted as uh, Hero is your, your Lord God is one. Is yes, and Ahad can mean unity of one because you have Wahid, which is a singular one. Yes. Ahad can mean like one or a united one. So now we have to understand: was God talking about a singular one yeah. or a united one? Okay. Right. Then, then, then the thing is with this issue of united one. Yeah. Yes. There could be multiple. I can not. I can not stop at Jesus and the uh, Holy Spirit. I can carry on. Yeah. Yes. So the issue is what I'm saying is: is there any clear cut yes. worship and uh, acknowledgement of the previous prophets yes. of the Trinity yes. of Jesus being divine and the Holy Spirit? Okay. So. In before the incarnation, so before the incarnation, the name that was revealed to Moses was Yahweh. So any divine presence that came down was called divine, was called Yahweh. It wasn't called Jesus because Jesus only came, the name came or Yeshua was when he was born. Okay. So if let's say you have the Trinity, yeah, and let's just say the pre-incarnate Jesus came yeah. down, he would have been called Yahweh. Yeah. Let's say if the Father came down, he would be called, he would be called Yahweh too. Okay. Or the Holy Spirit can be called Yahweh because there wasn't a proper distinction. Mm. So even if we go to Genesis one, okay, but is there, was there anyone explicitly no. worshiping the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Well, they were because because this has to be. Look, this is something. Look, yes. Tawheed, oneness of God, yes. has been there from day one. Okay, we haven't budged. No. There has not been a single movement. Okay, that all the prophets that have come with acknowledged, all of them come with worship God alone. Okay, yeah? so the thing is. It's the same. If the Trinity yes. is from God and is divine, it should be there from day one. If it's not, the question that needs to be begged and asked is why? What changed? What changed that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit was born? So from the beginning, that literally. Was born for, for example, if I go to Genesis, it says, "In the beginning was in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, yes. and the earth was without form yeah. and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the." The, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Yes. So this is the creation story, and yes. we see the spirit of God yes. but that could was be there. God himself. He's talking. It doesn't need to be another. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'll, 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 I'll go into it, but that's fine. But we, because I can explain why the spirit of God was distinct for other verses. But we see that it was God and the spirit of God. Even if you say it was God Himself, okay. we see that the spirit of God was was there from the beginning so we no, I, no, no, but you're reading into it no but i'm i'm going to okay, go give i'm going to go into other texts okay, go we can for now just say if it's one but then i'll have to prove that this spirit of god was distinct okay. otherwise we can take your interpretation okay do you get what i'm yeah. saying yeah then again it can be the spirit of god can be yes an angel that's created by god no because this was the spirit of god 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 can create souls 
if it says the soul of God, you can understand it as the soul of God yes. or a soul that belongs to God. Yeah, but when you look yeah? at Can I not read that into it? No, because it's saying Why in not? the beginning, yeah. the beginning of God time, created creation, heaven and earth. And the spirit was already there. That's what it's saying. No, I know, but God, God, what I'm trying to say so to you... So angel can't, is created, so it can't be there in the beginning. No, no, but still, you can read it as the spirit of God, yes. spirit of God, yes. or spirit that belongs to God. It's of God. Do you get it? I can read it like that. Yeah, but if it's if it's, it's a, that belongs it's, to it's, God... It's ambiguous. Yeah, but if it belongs to God, it means it's created. Yes. So it can't exist before creation. No, it can. Why not? Because creation, everything was, comes was, into was existence. Angels, was angels created before or the uh, universe? The universe was created. Before. That's why it says in the beginning, really? Really? God created the heavens. Where the angels in the At heavens? The end. But the angels and the was, earth. was the angels created before or after the heavens? Because think about it. Yes. They were created about... at the same time. So no, no. Where's angels, the evidence? angels can't exist before creation. Why not? Because creation is cr God's creation. No, that no, means no, anything no, no, created. No, no. I'm talking about no, no, no. Yes. I'm talking about only the creation. I'm talking about the universe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's good. He's right. I agree with him. God is yes. uncreated. Yeah. Only him. Only him. Yeah. Only him. Only yeah. Him. I'm with you. 100. percent Then why do you say angels are uncreated as well? No, I never said that. No, no, right? no, no. I never said that. I said <laughs> that did did angels were created first or the universe? Like you know, you said that God created the, the Genesis one one. Yes. So was angels created first? Or the, uh, the universe? Well, when he says he created the heavens, that means the heavens and everything in it. Well, just because you read, you read one passage. Well, obviously, it's logically we use our mind to say really. if God created the heavens. Angels may have been there before. The heavens and the earth. Well, well, we, it can be. Well, we use our logic to say, to no, understand no, the verse. On, there's, 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 because there's no one. I, I say we should No, but logic. there's no one that will say that the, he, the angels were created before the heavens. Where are you going to put the angels? No, it can't be. No, you're missing the point. You're, then you're saying the only place the angels can be living is in, in, the, in um, the universe. It doesn't have to be outside the universe. We know angels are outside the universe. Yeah, but they can't be out place, outside of place. No, no, no. no. Only like, God no, is out like, place. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying there was like an emptiness. They had a dwelling place. So yeah? where would they be before creation? It could creation? be paradise. paradise, where, paradise no, but paradise. before paradise, where would they be? Before paradise? I don't know. But would God, they, would God they exist? Would they exist? Maybe, yeah. How? Explain how. If God exists, if God exists and He's created angels, yeah, what, for me to think that they have to have a little house, angels need a house, would it be unfair? Sorry, so yeah, I'm trying to wrap up. So, okay. so you're telling me angels can be where God is or no, 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 even no, if no, He's no, out no, place? No, not where God is, but they can be a place. They don't need to have like a house built to them. Like, oh, here you go, there's your house. So, yeah. so when, where, where were they created? Where, where were they created? I, I, that's what we're trying to come to. That, I'm trying to I'm yeah, make because, an argument. But no, 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 I'm just very simply, I'm just yes. asking. I'm big. And I'm un un unambiguous, yeah. Okay. All the prophets that came that we both believe on, believe in, yeah. Okay. Did any of them? Yes. They didn't need to preach. The okay. Trinity. So if you accept that, then it comes back to my point: is this? All these prophets, we believe in thousands. You believe in probably hundreds, or maybe twenty, thirty. I don't know. All of them preached and believed in what we believe. What is that? The worship of God alone. Yeah. So the question that I asked you, that's why I said if we go back to scripture, okay. because it's the scripture that's different everything. Okay. Either the Quran is not from God, okay. or the Bible is not from God. Right. Do so, you get it? So, so it, let, this is, this is let, the crux of the matter. Because to make it easier, yeah. I'm going to give you a quote yeah. from a, Jew, a Jewish scholar, right? I don't know who he is. You can, everyone can search him. His okay. name's Benjamin Summer. Okay. He teaches at one of the, uh, the leading Jewish seminaries. Okay. That's why I wanted to debate your friend, because this is what he says. Yes. He says, some Jews regard Christians' claim to be a monotheistic religion with grave suspicion. Both because of the doctrine of the Trinity, how can three be equal to one, and because of Christians' core belief that God took bodily form. And he says, no Jew sensitive to Judaism's own classical sources, however, can find, theolog can find fault with the theological model Christianity employs when it avows a belief in a God who has an earthly body as well as a Holy Spirit and a heavenly manifestation. For that model, we have seen is a perfectly Jewish one. And I will challenge anyone, that's why I wanted to get your Jewish friend, to find, to find me any scholar, not Rabbi Singer, who makes up his own opinions, but a qualified um, Jewish scholar that says Christianity's core beliefs are at odds or not consistent with the classical sources of, of, of Jewish sources. Because what they're say, he's saying is he's gone into the classical sources, not Maimonides, not rabbinical Judaism of today, but the very earliest sources of Judaism and concluded what the, the Trinity... So what, so what does he believe? He, he's a Jew. So, so but he, he rejects Jesus on a different... Okay, so does he believe Jesus is divine? 
He doesn't. No, he, as a Jew, he doesn't accept okay, Jesus so, as the so, Messiah. So then because it comes that there's so two is different he, is things. Is he saying that there's a possibility that you can read it like that? He's saying it's consistent <laughs> with. So what he's so saying is consistent. Then why is he being inconsistent? Because he doesn't have to accept Jesus. Because remember, they believe the Messiah is going to fill, fulfill certain criteria. Yeah. So he can reject Jesus as the Messiah. So why does he accept Jesus? Why doesn't he? Because he doesn't have to believe Jesus is the Messiah. So why doesn't he accept then? Okay, there's a possibility that God can come to Earth and dwell with us. But he's, yeah, he's, he's saying it's because he's, he's, he's trying to say there's consistency, but yes. then he's been inconsistent with this. No, but remember, a belief is different from what he's saying. The theology of Christianity. I'll, 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 I'll check and, that up. Yeah, but, and but, I'll, but, I'll give you his name. But, but, his name is Donald Summer. Donald yes, Summer, Donald and he's a scholar, and he's at a scholar at one of the best Jewish seminaries. No problem. And that's why I wanted to have a debate with no you. No problem. Friend, I'll, I'll look. I'll look yes. into that. Yeah. Because but, this is yes. Yeah. Coming back to look, what I need to do is I need to know need to is is the, is the Bible the yes. word of God? We, now we're jumping because we, no, we're not jumping because we said about the Trinity. No, no, no. But this is this is this is this is my it's argument. Right? Okay, we'll do because, that. Because there's no point in talking. Yes. To you. I saw, that's why I said to you. Yeah? yeah. There's no point talking about the Tawheed and Trinity. Yes. If because all we have to go back to our scriptures. If the scriptures are flawed. Yes. Yeah. Paper boy, you need to. This is this is what I need to understand. Yeah. If if the scriptures are corrupted. Uh, okay. Anything that you bring to me, yes. anything that I bring to you, yes. it can look beautiful. Yeah, it but be, it doesn't. But the, it, the point is, yes? can I justify my faith from the scripture I have? This you understand? Is, Whether it's legitimate or not, that's uh, another. That's a. No, that's another. That's, that's because a question. when when the yes, when we're discussing, I has I the, I'm telling you the Quran. If the yes. Quran is corrupted, yes. I can't justify oh. nothing to you. Okay. Nothing. Zero. Because, because the thing is, how am I going to come and tell you? Yes. Here's, here's corruption, yes. but I be, I believe in it because. But, but that's that, that's that's that's, 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 that's a red herring. I'll tell you huh? why. I'll tell you that's a red herring point. Yeah, go on. Because yeah, let's say for argument's sake, yeah. just for it's argument's sake, the the scripture is corrupted. Yes. But that doesn't have anything to do of whether I can justify my belief based on what is in the book. Okay, do you how, understand? How did you come to, to your belief? In what sense? How did you come to find out Jesus died for your sins and he's God? Well, let me just ask you... Where, where, do you, where, do you, where but, did you have a revelation? Yeah, but let me just ask you this question, for example. Because you believe in Tawheed. Yes. And Allah is one. Yes. Yes? So, but you believe, for example, Allah has a face. Yeah. Allah has a shin. Okay. Allah has two right hands. Two right hands. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So now, if we think about it logically, according to science, yes, yes. you have something called the uh, space-time continuum. Mm -hmm. That means matter, um, space, yeah. and um, matter, space, and time came into existence all at the same time. For example, if you have uh, matter and time, you need somewhere to put it. Okay. Yes, and if you have um, so yeah, if you have matter and space, so you need you need a when. When okay. did it come into existence? Okay. So if Allah has two right hands, a face, a shin, this is it means that Allah, Alice, you love. It means Alice. You don't know love. I can't, I'm finishing it. I'm finishing it. It, it means it means Alice's two right hands can be distinguished from his face. No. Because how can because how can you say someone has a face and two right hands if they're not because, distinguishable? Because the, 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 the flaw that you're making is this, yeah. Okay. We are told Laysa Kamithil Yashay, Wahua Sami Ul Basir. Yeah? Yes. There is nothing like him. This is what That's David Wood tries to though. use. No, you're missing the point. Yes. God, yes. if God has a hand, yes. for you to equate it with the hand that you know is a big fallacy in I didn't say that. Okay, so if it look, so it's either, yes. so it's not a hand. Or it is a hand, yes. or it's metaphorical, or it's a power. Yeah? Do you believe it's metaphorical? Okay. No. Exactly. That's the thing. That's okay. the difference. Yes. Because what we see is his hand is nothing like I know. The clock has a hand. I can agree with that. Okay, so the, but the, if you say he has a hand, that, you bring in that. No, but if, has got nothing to do with but scripture if you, being no, But look, if you say he has a hand, yes. Because you, for example, Muslims will say yeah. the Trinity doesn't uh, make it doesn't make logical sense. Yes. But if Allah has two right hands, yes. that is spatial dimensions. No, no, yes, no, no. Because no. if God is no, transcendent, no, no, you cannot say he has no. two of no, anything. What, what you're doing is this. What because doing you is can't this? distinguish. A, for example, a Christians believe. Let me just give you a Christian perspective. Yeah. That yes, we believe in the Trinity, but we believe God's divine essence is a spirit. We cannot say God has a face, God has a leg, God has you're because. Doing. Listen to what I'm yeah. saying. We say Jesus, yes, but the spirit came into the flesh, the divine essence. So God in his natural element, the father, yes, okay. doesn't have a face, two right hands, because that is, if God is transcendent. So he's, of, he's not going to sit on his if, throne? 
if God is tra God, we believe God can enter His creation. Okay. You believe no, 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 the front, believe, front. Is He going? Is He not going to sit in the front? We, Jesus on we, His right hand. Listen, we believe God can enter creation. No, we don't so that, believe that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So yes. therefore, if Allah can't enter creation, yes. you cannot say yes to right hands no, because you're that is a spatial <laughs> no, dimension. No, no, you're missing the point. Because what you're doing is you're saying you're saying. How did you distinguish no, a face no, from no, a hand? No, 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 you're missing the point because what you're saying is this. Yeah, you're you're giving it a yes. the reason the the the, 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 the when you're saying. Is material is yes. where the flaw is, because you're saying if there's if it's material, it yes. has to be bound in time. Yeah, exactly. It's a fallacy. Yeah.